So when we're working with uh, clients on the autism spectrum, we have to understand that mental health can present differently. So what we see in children is that anxiety tends to present behaviourally. This means when you're looking for signs or indicators of anxiety, don't look for a racing heart or sweaty palms. Because of interoception and alexithymia difficulties in autism, you might not have that as a symptom that the person recognises. Right. So alexithymia is essentially um, a word to describe the decreased or the um, inability to express emotions um, through language. Um, it also um, includes things like um, difficulty with understanding emotions, sometimes as well internalised emotions. Um, so this can actually cause a bit of a problem when it comes to mental health diagnosis. Um, so if someone can't exactly say if they're sad or they're feeling apathetic or they're feeling depressed, then trying to diagnose someone with depression or anxiety might actually prove quite difficult. Um, but you'll find that some people with alexithymia may actually have different ways to express their emotions. So, for example, someone who's depressed might explain it as a black cloud following them. Or we all um, probably know about the Black Dog Institute. Some people explain it as the black dog. Um, other people might explain it as a weight um, on their shoulders. So yeah, creating a um, dictionary of abstract ideas might help with the uh, diagnostic journey of along to finding what the correct diagnosis is for a mental health condition. It also might um, be helpful for someone to try and express their emotions through different um, creative means. So things like uh, song lyrics or colours or even poetry can actually help um, individuals on the spectrum to express how they feel without actually using that emotional language. It's really important that our clients are receiving support and treatment for other co-occurring conditions. So that might be things like um, epilepsy or gastrointestinal difficulties. There might be learning, comorbid le learning disabilities as well, or language difficulties. So when we have a multidisciplinary team involved for a person on the spectrum, that's when they have the most success.